CPAs, you're buried in PDFs, rewriting the same client emails and trying to skim 10 page memos at 6 p.m. But here's the thing, Microsoft Copilot can already handle all of that and without you being techie. Let me show you the three real Copilot tricks I use weekly that save me hours. Hi, I'm Dave, a CPA that helps busy professionals get their time back with Copilot. Have you ever received a five or 10 pages long PDF, an audit memo, a revenue recognition memo like this one right here? So I have a memo, five pages. It's an accounting memo for ASC 606 for the Piggy Beans Cafe, five pages. It's a PDF. I don't have time to read it. It's late at night. And that's where our best friend Copilot comes in. So I've prepared a prompt for you in copilot.microsoft.com. I use the business version. So all of my data is secured as shown with this green shield at the top right. And I will just ask Copilot the following. Summarize this memo in five bullet points. Then I clicked on the little plus here and I uploaded my PDF. ASC 606 accounting memo, and then I will just hit send, right? Copilot is going to analyze my document and in a matter of seconds, I have my five bullet points summarized for my memo. Cool, right? And that's how I see everyone using Copilot. But I'll go one step further because I want to help you save time at work and spend time with your family. So I made another prompt for you in another Copilot instance, and I said the following. So I basically, added context to my prompt for better results. I said to Copilot, I don't have time to read this full ASC 606 implementation memo from the Piggy Beans Cafe, the nicest cafe in the world. Can you extract just the top three risks and the most urgent next step for the revenue recognition team? And then I attach the memo. Let me see what are the results from Copilot. Here you go. Here you go. We'll see uh, the top three risks here, the bundled offerings, the upgrades and modification, and the variable consideration. Of course, typical revenue recognition. And then Copilot gave me the most urgent next steps for the revenue recognition team. So that was the first tip that you can actually summarize long, boring PDFs with Copilot and get your insights. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Meet CPE Flow, your one-stop solution for unlimited NASBA approved CPE courses tailored specifically for accounting and finance professionals. With CPE Flow, you can access a constantly growing library of expert-led courses on AI, financial modeling, data analytics, and much more anytime and anywhere. <laughs> Plus, you'll join a private community where you can network with other professionals and here's the best part, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's zero risk to get started, boost your career, stay compliant and learn at your own pace with CPE flow. Click the link to join today and never stress about CPE credits again. And trust me, best instructors are on there. I'm in there with some other folks. I am an auditor and I received this email from this client right here. Updated trial balance, please use this version. Apologies, David, but there was an issue with the prepaid expense. Please find the updated trial balance. And then the client ends with the biggest lie. This should be this final version. You want to answer, but you are mad. You work 60 hours this week and you don't want to lose the client either. So you get your help from your little friend Copilot to answer this email in a good way. Since you don't have Copilot in Outlook because you didn't pay for the paid version of Copilot, you are using the free chatbot that is absolutely secured. So you ask Copilot the following. Help me reply to this client. It's the fifth trial balance that they've sent us. I want to be polite, but I'm tired and need your help setting the right tone. I want to let the client know that it's okay this time, but the next version will incur extra fees. I attach the emails and then I attach the email. Let's click send and copilot. Here we go. So politically correct, right? More politically correct than I've ever been with these clients that send us updated trial balance. And there you go, Copilot just drafted. I am Ali. Thanks for, thanks for sending over the updated trial balance and for flying the adjustment. Just a quick note for a future reference. So Copilot drafted the email. All is good in the hood. And to the next tip.
You want to analyze and compare financial statements and your client sent it in a PDF. I know you might do this in Excel, but big shouts to the client sending this in PDF. So I am using the Starbucks fiscal year 2023 and fiscal year 2024, I think, to actually show you this tip right here. So once again, we're going to go to Copilot. I downloaded these in PDF and I'm going to ask Copilot the following. Compare the income statement in this document to last year's. Highlight any significant year-over-year -year changes in revenue, COGS, and operating income, and suggest potential causes using the notes in the report. Then I attach it to PDFs, and I want you to be super careful when you do these operations. Always double-check the results. It can give you a high-level sense of the analysis, but always go back and make sure to double-check because, yes, AI can hallucinate. It's not perfect. Sometimes it gives you the result and it actually doesn't analyze a PDF. So make sure you actually double check. But look at this. If you know you you know the eye level sense of your numbers, like you know, uh, if it looks similar to what you thought, like your expectation, then you know that you're all set, but always make sure you double check. And here you go. Uh, we have the year over year financial comparison with a column of FY24, FY23 and a change. Super, super handy. And we have key observations. So if you just want a quick analysis, you can do that. I'll show you another example. Here, uh, I ask Copilot the following, again, with the Starbucks financial statements, what changed the most between 2023 and 2024 in the income statement? So super targeted question here. Break it down by line and suggest likely causes. Again, likely causes. Uh, it must be hard for AI to understand that and know that for fact, but Copilot will do the analysis. All right, here are the results. Starbucks income statement comparison, FY24 versus FY23. I have a breakdown line by line, just like I asked. Again, I will need to double check these numbers, but Copilot is pretty good when you're using like the right terms um, that match the PDF. And then if you scroll down the key observation, 0.6% increase in revenue compared to 12% in FY23, and it targets the comparable store sales, especially in North America and China. And then we have a bunch of other key observation and we have the likely causes that are listed down here. Such a time saver. So I hope you enjoyed this tip of comparing the financial statements. If you want all of my best Copilot tips in one place, download my free Copilot Jumpstart Toolkit. Catch you soon.